What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys basically just a timeline of what I think might happen in The Flash Season 8. But of course before we get started make sure that you guys like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment any other video suggestions for me. So the Flash Season 8 filming actually starts in about a week or so, I believe. Um, and we know that the first five episodes of the season are going to be like sort of like crossover episodes, I guess you could say. Um, so we should get some pretty cool teasers for that coming up in probably the next few weeks. So these first five episodes of Season 8, they're not like really a crossover. They're more of a team up, I guess you could say. Um, so what I think that means is that they're going to still focus on, you know, mainly the Flash stuff. So with that being said, it's more likely that the uh, the Flash and whatever other heroes might end up appearing will end up facing a Flash villain. Um, but now what other heroes do I think will appear? I think definitely Superman's got to appear. Um, probably uh, John Diggle returning, possibly as Green Lantern. Um, and then of course, uh, maybe Batwoman and maybe Black Lightning. I think that'd be pretty cool to see. Um, so let's go back to John Diggle. Now, I've had this prediction for a while ever since uh, we figured out that this five episode team up thing was happening and my prediction here is that John Diggle will become the Green Lantern in this five episode crossover team up type thing because um, obviously they started teasing that in all the uh, the Arrowverse episodes that he was in this season um, you know obviously in the episode 16 of The Flash um, there were definitely some teasers to that he was getting a bunch of headaches and then he said he had to deal with something that he had like he just, he just was just ignoring um, and then of course we got that Flash back scene of him finding presumably the Green Lantern ring. And if John Diggle doesn't actually end up becoming the Green Lantern in this team up, I definitely think that that is a storyline that could uh, that could continue during this team up is uh, Diggle and you know his journey into becoming the Green Lantern. But yeah, Bart, Nora, and Jay Garrick should be on the show for at least the first episode of season eight. Is obviously they didn't leave at the end of season seven, so it's pretty it's pretty usual to think that they will still be there on the first episode at least. It'd be pretty cool if they stayed throughout the entire uh, the entire first five episodes of this team up. Um, that would definitely give us some more heroes. That would be awesome to see. Um, but now, what villain or threat might these heroes face? Now, going off of what uh, Eric Wallace said for The Flash Season 8, uh, he said that we're going to keep doing the uh, the graphic novel concept for this season. Um, so we're going to have two, possibly three villains. It's more likely going to be two. But he said that the villain that we encounter in the first graphic novel is like a horror type of villain. Um, so that definitely would be Red Death. That's my prediction, at least. I think it would be really cool to see Red Death. So guys, assuming that Red Death is going to be the villain for the uh, the first graphic novel in Season 8, who exactly is Red Death going to be? Now, I went over a, a bunch of theories that I had in regards to that in yesterday's video. That was just a huge Red Death video that I went over. Make sure you guys check that out. Uh, but anyways, I think that the real identity of Red Death is most likely going to be Ramsey Rosso, who's been like contaminated by the negative speed force or something like that. I think that's very likely to happen here. But if you guys don't think that this is going to be Red Death, comment who else you guys think it could be. It could obviously be Cronarch, as obviously uh, Abracadabra teased him in uh, the f uh, fourth episode of Season 7, which I think he'd be a pretty cool villain to see. But I would much rather see Red Death as a, you know, a, a huge heroes versus Red Death battle. That would be awesome to see. You know, a five episode team up orchestrated around stopping Red Death. I think that would be awesome. Um, and even if this Red Death, even if Red Death uh, is the villain and he only end, ends up being the villain for the first five episodes, I think I'd be okay with that just because of all the content that we're getting in these first five episodes. I think it'd be awesome to see Red Death as the main villain. But anyways, now let's go on to the next graphic novel, and this one is uh, what Eric Wallace said could like sort of threaten Barry and Iris's marriage, I guess you could say. Um, he said it's going to take like a huge, a great love story between Barry and Iris to get through this uh, this insane villain that they're going to face. And I re I'm really hoping that that means Eddie Thawne is going to return as Cobalt Blue. That would be absolutely amazing. Again, guys, I made a video about how Eddie Thawne could actually return as Cobalt Blue. Make sure you guys go check that out. But in that video, I basically said that the reverse Flash is pretty likely to be involved here because obviously both named Thawn, I think that's pretty reasonable. So a theory I had about Cobalt Blue is that Reverse Flash somehow time travels back and uh, stops Eddie Thawne from killing himself or saves Eddie's life after he presumably kills himself. Um, I think that's that's kind of possible. That would also really bring in the Reverse Flash into the storyline, which I think would be great to see. 
So anyways, let's say Reverse Flash saves Eddie. Maybe Reverse Flash then uh, makes uh, turns Eddie into a speedster and uh, then, you know, trains him and, you know, starts convincing him that Barry's, a, that Barry's bad and, you know, then Eddie, you know, becomes a villain. I think he would be a great villain to see on the show. Um, he would have a great motivation for being a villain. Maybe he, his reasoning for being a villain, Barry stole Iris from him or something like that. I don't know. That I think that'd be pretty amazing to see. And the actor that played Eddie Thawne did say that he wanted to come back to The Flash as a villain, which hopefully that ends up happening as Cobalt Blue. But yeah, with all that being said, I definitely think that Reverse Flash will still end up appearing sometime in the season, whether it's at the end or in the middle or at the beginning. Who really knows? Um, who knows? Maybe this main villain of the first five episodes might be the Reverse Flash. You never know. I do think it's highly unlikely that that will happen, but I definitely think Reverse Flash will uh, return sometime in the Flash Season 8, um, and I think he will hopefully return faster. I uh, made a theory video in regards to how Reverse Flash might end up getting faster for the next time that he returns, and one of the ways I said that he might get faster is uh, from stealing other speedsters' speed. That would definitely introduce a lot of speedsters into the show as well, which I think would be great to see. Uh, maybe he might even steal Barry's speed. We never really know, um, but I think it would be awesome to see what kind of reverse flash storyline they've got planned for when he returns next. So, Reverse Flash, Cobalt Blue, they might have a connected storyline, which would be awesome to see, but another villain that I think could return, of course, is Godspeed. Godspeed is still alive, he's just locked up in Iron Heights, um, and Eric Wallace said that Godspeed has now uh, made Barry basically his worst enemy instead of Bart. But Eric Wallace did say that that would come back to bite Barry. So hopefully the next time we see Godspeed, he has a great storyline. And I kind of hope that he's on for more than four episodes because we really should have gotten more episodes with him in Season 7. So yeah, guys, with all this new stuff presumably coming to The Flash Season 8, Season 8 could be one of the best seasons of The Flash. Um, you know, the first five episodes where we are presumably going to get all these new heroes and possibly a new villain, possibly Red Death, that'd be awesome to see. Um, and then, of course, Eddie Thawne possibly returning as Cobalt Blue, maybe Reverse Flash might return, even Godspeed might return. This season could be great if they do it right and don't screw it up. But anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your guys' thoughts on what else you think could happen in The Flash Season 8. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.